Hey everyone, Ronald here. So this is the third video I'm doing on this topic, but it's okay because I got feedback from you guys and I need to do an updated video. So this is all about running, executing code in Visual Studio Code. And sometimes in the terminal, when you're just looking for your output, you'll see this like long line of extra garbage, a path that you really don't care to see. So I did a video how to get rid of that, but then some of you guys had questions regarding finding the launch.json file that you needed to configure. And also some of you asked, hey, how do you do this with Java or C? And I found a extension for Visual Studio Code that can execute code, spit out your output in nice clean fashion, and you don't even need to mess around with the launch.json file. So that's what I'm gonna show you in this video, so stay tuned to check that out. All right, everyone, so over here, this is a sample test file that I'm gonna go ahead and print out. So first of all, some of you guys were saying, hey, where you did the configuration, I can't find a launch.json. So like if I go to the command palette, which is where we need to navigate to to find our launch.json, you could see that I can't find it right now. Well, if that happens in your case, you need to add a configuration. So basically, if you just go to, where is it? Run, add configuration, and then we choose Python file, debug the currently active Python file. That's going to add a folder VSC code, well, dot VSC code, and then it, it'll create your launch dot, your launch dot JSON. Okay? And this is where you can come in and do the modification that I had shown you in the past. So let me first show you the issue, just as a reminder, which is when we come over here to run our file, run without debugging, it prints out rise and shine, but it prints out all this other nonsense also, right? So previously I had said you can come over here to this launch.json and change this to internal console, save that, and if you run it again, let me clear this path here, and if we run it again, and we go to debug console actually, you'll see in the debug console, rise and shine, okay? All right, so that's cool for Python, but there's also another way that we can do this, and it's by installing a plugin. I'm gonna come over here and clear this output here. Installing a plugin called Code Runner. So if we come to extensions over here, and you can see here I've installed Code Runner. All you need to do is just search for Code Runner and install it. Okay, I already have it installed. So once you have this installed, you can actually use this to execute your code. And it'll give you an option, a play button here. If you click on Run, and I choose Run Code, Boom, look at that. Run, uh, rise and shine, some Python. All right, now I know you're thinking, okay, hey, that's cool, but wait a minute, you still got some nonsense. You took away the other garbage, but now you gave me some new garbage to look at. No, don't worry about it. We can get rid of this header and uh, um, tail also, this running and done. So what we need to do is go to the extension for Code Runner, and right over here on the right-hand side, you'll see there's a icon for Manage. If we go to Extension Settings, we can scroll all the way down towards the bottom, and right a little bit before the bottom, you'll see there's an option for, where is it? Here it is show execution message, whether to show 
uh, running and done. So we'll uncheck that, all right? And now if we go to Rise and Shine, clear this and execute it, run, run code. There it is, boom. Rise and Shine, some Python, and you have that clean code, okay? Now, why is this important to use this? Because some other, some other people have asked me, how do we do this in Java or C? All right, so first, let's go to the Java file. All right, you see I have Java, rise and shine .java. I'll clear this output. So all I need to do is come and choose the play button and choose run code. And let's see what happens. Rise and shine, ready for some Java. Nice. We come to uh, the C example. Let's go ahead and choose run. Rise and shine example from C language. Beautiful. And then for C++, I'll go ahead and just clear this output. Rise and shine from C++. Clean output, multiple languages. I hope you guys uh, like this extension. I think you will, Code Runner. I actually discovered this a while back, but I didn't know that you could go into the settings and clear out that header and tail that it puts in. So I never ended up using it, but actually thanks to some of the questions that I got from you guys, I ended up like, looking deeper into it and figured that out, and that was awesome. All right. Um, one other thing that I wanted to mention regarding Visual Studio Code, they have really great documentation. So if we come over here and actually search for, um, let's say, Debugging Python. I spelled debugging wrong, but I come over here. It really has great documentation that just steps you through some of the information. And this is like where some of you guys, if you had like a Google. You could have saw that you, you may need to like create a, a JSON file. Um, I think in the past when I've created like my projects by default it had the JSON file because I don't remember having to do this manually. Maybe I did, I don't know. But all I know is that coming to the documentation it would have uh, reminded me or at least told me if I didn't know. So don't be afraid of reviewing some documentation like this nowadays because they really make a, a good effort to have screenshots, sometimes even videos that demonstrates how to do some things. They've come like a long way versus old school documentation where it's just all text and cryptic and it looks like basically you're just reading a dictionary. So good job and shout out to Visual Studio Code, the people over there. I'm really impressed. If they had awards for documentation, I would think that they could probably get an, an Emmy of some sort for this, <laughs> all right? Um, but anyway, that's all I got for you today. So thanks a lot for joining. And if you have any comments regarding other situations you had related to this, uh, anything you might have uh, gotten stuck on, uh, let me know. If there's other plugins that you use other than code runner that does the same thing uh, let us know in the comments that'd be cool and I'll see you guys in the next video so if you like that video hit that like button you know that that definitely helps me out with the algorithm and also to check out more videos in the future go ahead and subscribe hitting that notification bell too and to my left here you can see a couple more videos that you could check out